Uh, Councilwoman Cosby. Thank you. So from the Construction Code Committee, wait. I'd like to make a motion for the installation of a street light on pole number 65695, which is located on Rebecca Street at the back of 838 Hampton Street. That's the closest residence. And I ask for a second. 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 Mrs. Orman? Yes. Javik? Yes. Mohammed? Yes. Cosby? Yes. Roman? Yes. Strano? Yes. Yamakaitis? Yes. Medina? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. So the construction code report for the license, I'm sorry, the summonses that were issued is on file in the construction code office. It just did not make it to my folder for this month's meeting, so I don't have the figures for that. But the construction code department does an awesome job of issuing summonses after they do inspections on reports that we give as council members and that they do inspections for other complaints that are registered. So if anyone's interested in the numbers from last month, it's on file in the construction code office. Unfortunately, it didn't make my folder, so I can't report on that at this time. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who participated in the October Fifth Ward Community Meeting. We normally do our Hispanic Heritage Month celebration during that time for the last about five years or so. And this year as like an annual thing, Mason Tropical, which is located on East, is it East Elizabeth Avenue? East, East Elizabeth Avenue made a, a food donation, which is always delicious. So you know, we wanna say thank you to Josie and the folks at Mason Tropical. And again, send our gratitude to our honoree this year, who was Angel Padilla, the retired uh, police officer here in town. Please mark your calendars for the fifth ward, the next event, the last event for the year, which is our annual Santa event, which is probably like 15 years running now. It's gonna be on December the 15th. That's at the LMP, LMPC Center, 1025 John Street. And it's from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. The children come, they have refreshments and take photos with Santa. And as always, the make and take craft and everything is free. So it's December the 15th from 11 until 1. This year, again, I'm gonna do another survey for the residents. I did it last year, and unfortunately, you know, it was removed from the city's website. I know everyone does not have Facebook or other social medias, so if you're watching or if you hear about it, I'm gonna try and make sure that um, it's posted on Linden TV, that if anyone from the Fifth Ward wants to participate in the survey and they don't have electronic communications, they can give me a call and I'll have one delivered to them. The survey is simply for me to get the feedback from the residents so I can know what I'm doing well or what they wanna see and what you know ideas they may have for our community. It worked well last year and so I'm gonna do it again and hopefully you know we get a, a greater input so we can move our calendar in January according to what the residents would like to see topics for community meetings, other initiatives, or just general things that you want to change or see in the fifth ward. Oh. So, so to make sure I put everything. Also, well first let me give my phone number. It's 908-718-7933. If you have any um, questions, comments, or concerns, or if you want me to drop you off some leaf bags, call me at 908 718-7933. And I'd like to announce that I did plant a seed to Mrs. Uh, Councilwoman Ormond's suggestion. And finally, the seed has taken root in the form of a grant for uh, London after the raid. Back in 2014, there was a survey that went out. There was a focus group that was held. And we were looking to get some grant money, which we never did, even though we had a grant writer on staff. So we did partner with the New Jersey After School Alliance, New Jersey After School All Stars. And so they're going to run a program here in the city of Linden for children. It's gonna be a 21st century grant, which is exactly like that we have in the Board of Education. And it's gonna be housed at one of the Linden public facilities. And it's a $250,000 grant. And so that's gonna provide you know, employment opportunities. It's gonna provide education for parents as well as children. And it's gonna be an enrichment program which involves STEAM, STEM. I don't know if the A's in it, but I like the art part. So, but that's important. I'm just excited for that. And so I'm very proud that I was able to um, kind of stay focused and, and find us a good partner and get this grant. So just stay tuned and you'll hear more about the application process for anybody looking to work there. And so, um, you know, this is, 
for Lyndon's children, and it's gonna also have a summer component. So that's very exciting, I'm very happy. I also wanted to say too, as far as community goes, a friend of mine, um, she wanted to have an idea in the vein of like a sisters, a circle of sisters type of deal, just so that different women from all over the city could get together. And on last weekend, we actually had a Linden Ladies, like little networking activity at the library. So we had women of all ages and it was good. So, it, you know, we met different people. And so if anybody's interested in possibly just, you know, every other month or so getting up, getting in a group, Give me a call, I'll connect you with her, um, Josefina Mendez, and my, you know, my number, 908-718-7933. It's, it's a good idea, I think it's a good idea so that we can connect with other people. And it's you know, geared towards our ladies so that you know, we can connect with one another. And oh, this is what I wanted to say before. The Cultural Committee, I know that it's fully staffed and fully manned, and you just walked in and just reminded me about the Cultural Committee. I wanted to just encourage them to, some of the things that I'm, I've been doing in the Fifth Ward, it's not just for people in the Fifth Ward, and it's like, really should be a citywide thing. So Hispanic heritage and black history and you know, all the other little programs that I'm trying to do, I'm doing it in the Fifth Ward, but it's really for the whole city. So maybe if the Cultural Committee could look at doing these events, now that it's fully staffed, you know, people wouldn't you know, make it a big deal that it's in the Fifth Ward and not release my advertisements and stuff like that. I saw I wanted to add that. So. Wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving. And on Giving Tuesday, please consider making a donation to the GoFund for Linden, Team Linden, Hooked on Fishing, Not on Drugs. As you know, the program started three years ago, and this year, um, thankfully, the recreation has given us space, and for next year, they're gonna give us $2,000, but that's not nowhere near enough to sustain the program. It's all run by volunteers, and we provide snacks, we provide bait. You know, we wanna do different things for the students, and so, the children. You know, we're just looking to raise some money so that we can do that and wouldn't have to bring it out of our pocket because, you know, I've been giving out of my pocket for a lot of things in town. Um, so just asking for a little help. On Giving Tuesday, it's a GoFund, Team London, Hooked on Fishing, Not on Drugs. That concludes my report. Thank you, Councilwoman.